YouTube, how you doing out there? And uh, I had a uh, couple little collectibles here. I thought I'd uh, run on tape here and, and show some uh, of the viewers out there. And um, I've always been interested in uh, uh, collectibles, as you can tell back here. I got little things up, and uh, these are just a couple of uh, personal favorites that I had that it might be a, bring a little chuckle to you. Um, first one here is a uh, mood music for dining. Now this was a, uh, uh, I think it's like a 10 album set that was put out in the 70s by Reader's Digest. And uh, you know it was basically I guess for bachelors, you know, to have a hot date over and impress her with, uh, I don't know, some mood music here, you know, while you're eating. But uh, no big deal with that, but the funny thing that came with this record was you had a little slide rule chart that showed you what the appropriate song was to play with the particular course of the meal. So they had everything here from soup to nuts to uh, after dinner mints, and you just kind of moved it this way and that way, and it'll tell you what songs to play. So I thought that was pretty corny and pretty funny. Um, the next thing here is, is uh, just a personal favorite. Uh, I call it the good luck $5 bill, and you're probably wondering, you know, what. It, what is a $5 bill, you know, doing, being framed like this? Uh, well, it's actually just to be used uh, in case of an emergency if you're down to your last $5, either me or a guest of mine over. And um, let me tell you what happened with this. Uh, I got this original $5 back in change at the uh, grocery store and uh, spent it the same day uh, and uh, got it back a month later at the post office. And the reason I know this is because on the back it said, uh, Carol G. called Jerry for golf. So I said, hey, you know, I, uh, I remember that in the back of my mind. I said, oh, that's interesting. Somebody wrote a note on the, on the back of this uh, $5 bill. Well, anyway, I got it back from the post office a month later, and the next place I stopped was the, uh, another grocery store. And uh, I pulled it out to give it to the cashier to, to use for payment. And I said, uh, you know, I should hold on to this bill. I said, you know, I, I had it a month ago. And the reason I know is because it says, uh, Carol G called Jerry for golf on the back of it. Somebody had written a note. And the cashier had a very surprised look on her face. And she uh, looked at me and she said, you know, that's really interesting. I had that same bill two weeks ago. So I put it back in my pocket and uh, it ends up, you know, and ends up on my wall, taking up wall space now, you know, so I thought that was kind of an absurd story, just kind of shows what goes around comes around. Now the last thing here is, is a real personal favorite of mine, and uh, this is actually a picture of my dad from 1928, almost 80 years ago, and uh, he was at the beach. Now the absurd thing about this photo, aside from the fact that, you know, it's vintage, it's my dad, of course, you know, and, and uh, I uh, really uh, uh, treasure that, of course, but the absurd part of this is uh, here's the, ori the original bathing suit that he was wearing in that photo. So anyway, those are three little uh, uh, collectibles. I hope I didn't uh, bore anybody too much, and uh, I want to thank you so much for taking your time to watch the video, and also thanks to... Uh, YouTube for allowing me to share these stories with you. Thank you very much and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.